okay so we haven't quite made it to our destination i don't know quite the elevation oh. just yet but i know it's 38 degrees and it's already snowing with like 40 mile an hour it's, winds. This is a, quite the storm. I know. I mean, this is an unbelievable winter storm right now. I can't believe, whoa, oh, it's it's ice ice. There's like ice chunks coming down right now. Woo. Already, look at that ice on the windshield. This time, I'm not alone. I got my baby. I'm just a nice go for a, a road trip. Wow, the weather just completely changed. You can see here. It's just really gusty. I mean, this is looking more like a blizzard than anything with the wind blowing, the snow blowing. It was almost 60 degrees, as we said, down in the valley in Vegas, and now it's actually 29 degrees and dropping quickly. I just want to put on the electric Truma antifreeze kit. Since it has dropped so much, we don't want that freezing, obviously. It's another snow day for us to play. <laughs> I'm running around, it's icicles, and it's cold. It's so it's cold. Really it's really cold. cold. Get back in desert snow! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's oh it like a freaking, it's like crazy out there. Oh my all right, so before we forget with all that snow excitement, what do I have to do here now? Yeah, you got to turn on kind of the antifreeze ah, uh, the section antifreeze setting. Got it. on the Truma. Antifreeze done! Visibility is kind of tough here. No, it really is, and you can feel the rig kind of shaking from the wind whipping across. No, I, know, I it's, feel it's, it too. You okay, Mimi? Mimi? We're at 7,000 feet of elevation. Um, the toughest part right now are the roads. I mean, you can't tell where the lines are. You just know where the edges are. Yeah, he's got to beat off the ice. And we still have another five miles to go. Ooh, this is great. Now, we've never been to Lee Canyon. It's a little bit of a hidden gem outside Vegas that people don't really all really know about. You don't think about skiing in Las Vegas. So yeah. we're heading up, heading up to the ski area. I know. Check it out. And it's over 8,000 feet in elevation. Yeah, I think it's like 8,600 yeah. feet or something. So we're going way start, up. Yeah. We're going to start feeling it like... <gasps> exactly. <laughs> I got a good dinner plan too, by the way. So okay, and I have a little something planned. Too. Now we didn't really anticipate it being uh, ice. No, well. no. The temperatures are like dropping fast. Like right now we're in like it's like 30 degrees. About. Yeah, it's 30 exactly. 30. It was it's like almost like 60, 60 when we left yeah. about you know 45 minutes ago, and now it's suddenly 30. We haven't even gained much elevation yet. Wow. So it's just no. been a complete change in weather. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, the snow is coming down. We love it. We made it. There's all kinds of like trails. Okay. So this is the restroom. Help yourself. Oh, it's warm. Somebody's already scouting out the campground. You scouting out the campground for us? This is the McWilliams group gathering area. So that's where they can kind of gather. There's picnic tables over there. But they're camping in a little tiny thing. Look at so that little cute. guy. Yeah, so that is so tiny. All right, here we go. Backing it up. Straight back. All right, nice job. Keep it going. Further back, straight back. You got it. Just keep it straight. Yeah, that's perfect. Nice job, man. Good spot. It's a beautiful spot. Oh, and beautiful. Time to set up camp. I love setting up camp. Right now, and it's still early in the day, the weather tonight is supposed to be below zero. But right now, you can see right there, it's 17 degrees out. Ah, oh, babe, it's <laughs> freezing out there. It's cold. So I think this time, because it's actually going to be below zero, a lot of times we'll keep like the front compartments uh, open up a little bit, turn the chairs around. But we think because it's gonna be below zero, we're gonna put that thermal blanket up that we sometimes put up here, which allows us to not use as much propane, but also keeps the areas we want warm, extra warm. So I know Dave is off in the back, kind of getting things set up. So you're gonna probably be watching this video after Valentine's Day, which is today. Believe it or not, it's Valentine's Day here. And so Dave and I really want to come up here and enjoy the snow one more time this season. Got something special for Tanya, so she has no idea. And I'm preparing a nice dinner, so he doesn't know what's for dinner. So I'm super excited to get this here tonight. So I'm gonna make him a nice lamb uh, tonight with really nice seasoning that I have. And it's gonna be a really it's gonna beautiful be a beautiful night, night together. The snow Get the fire is going absolutely and gorgeous here. Can't wait to show you guys. So stay tuned for that. Wow, look at the wind is just crazy. It's blowing by. Look at that blowing snow. I mean, it really is like a 
a blizzard out here. I mean, look at that snow just whipping across. Yikes, right in your face. Yeah, it's funny, they, they only said about four inches of snow up here, but you can see it is coming down like crazy right now and it's windy and it's cold. So it's, it is a dry snow now. So if you're in the Las Vegas Valley area, don't forget about Lee Canyon and this campground up here because it's great. For those interested in this campground, McWilliams, right? McWilliams, yeah. The spots are $30 for single, $40 for double. Now, you can stay 14 up to 14 days. It's absolutely beautiful. And right now, there's only a small portion that you can stay in in the winter. The rest is blocked off. But during the summer, reservation systems open up. And it's a really beautiful campground, even right. in the snow. And in winter, it's all first come, first serve. First come, first serve. So tonight for dinner, I'm starting off with, he loves like the garlic and herb feta spread with some crackers and a little wine. But the main event is I have marinating with a little bit of soy sauce. Um, I have two, he loves lamb. So we got the lamb, sort of lamb shoulder chops, really nice thick pieces. And I'm marinating that with a little soy sauce, a splash of red wine, olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic, just a really nice, a uh, mixture of different ingredients just to soak into that because it just tastes amazing. I'm using like a pink Himalayan sea salt in there. Hey, if you guys like like the cooking sessions we do here, let us know in the comments. I'd love to know if you wanna maybe share the recipe if you're interested at some point. Yeah, just let me know. Cheers! Yeah, absolutely. I love you so much, baby. Yeah. Cheers to you as well. Gotta add that extra spice. Oh, it's so gonna be good, gonna be good, gonna be good, gonna be good, gonna be good. Surprise is over. I did not want to be out here by myself. You know, it's still Mount Lion country. So I just said to hubby, come on out. I have some delicious for you besides me. And hey. Yeah, and it smells amazing. Yay. Can't wait. It smells, smells amazing, baby. Amazing. Voila. Mmm, tender. Mm. Ah, dinner is served. Well, thanks so much, babe. Yeah. To my, my most amazing wife. You're unbelievable. Love you so much. Thank you. I love you. And to my incredible husband, you know, even though every day for us is like Valentine's Day, we just have so much fun together. This is extra special. And uh, I love you so much. I love you so much. It's Yay. amazing. It's like zero degrees, 8,000, like 700 feet up. I know. Beautiful Valentine's oh my Day. God. I know. With a woman, woman of my dreams. Yay. Love you, baby. I love you, honey. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Oh my God, the flavor. Oh. The flavor of this is incredible, babe. So good. That what smokiness. Are, that is so good. You nailed it. You, I think you should cook the grill all the time now. Oh, well. I'm done. Well. Wow. <laughs> that I, is so good. I don't know about that. Happy Valentine's Day, hon. Hey, happy Valentine's Day. It's not over yet. Oh, really? And I got some things for you. Wow. I, no, oh I, my god. I love you so much and Oh my goodness. You're you're the most amazing woman in the world and I'm really lucky and we're together. Oh thank you, love you. Ron. Happy Look, I got my rosy kiss. red. Kissy Ooh, kissy. Oh, oh okay. Oh, kissy, kissy, kissy. Of course. Mm. Mm. I got my rosy red uh, robe on here for you. Wow. <laughs> and my extra long underwear. Stay, stay cozy. Extra long warm stay underwear. Stay cozy in like negative sub-zero temps. Wow, this is beautiful. Oh, I love you, babe. Thank you, honey. I hope you like it. Oh my goodness. I love the earrings. I see what you're doing. <laughs> I see what you're doing. Right before bedtime, you spark a little gift. You know, let's mess with the chest and the tip of the huh? All right, well, you know, I see what you're doing. I do see what you're doing. Oh yeah, what's that? Well, 
<laughs> Good night, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning, buddy. How'd you sleep? Good morning. It's like, look, I'm still sleeping. I sleep one more. Last night was the coldest that we've ever been with desert snow. It got well below zero. Actually went down to minus 23 degrees Celsius, which is actually minus nine degrees Fahrenheit. It was just absolutely freezing. But I gotta say, Tanya, myself, our two kitties, we stayed really warm in desert snow, so we were pretty pleased, but boy, it's freezing. So the temperatures are still in the teens here, but we're in a new spot. We have our snowshoes on. Snowshoes, snowshoes. And so we're gonna explore to see what beautiful trails are here in Lee Canyon, or at least until my toes get frozen, cause it's still in the teens here, as far as the weather's concerned. So we are on the hunt for tracks as we're in the fresh snow and Dave came up with some first ones. First tracks. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what these are. I'm curious if folks watching let us know in the comments below. What do you think these tracks are? I think they're fox tracks. That's going to be my guess. Small. But yeah, let us know in the comments. Okay. So our mission is what, Dave? To find See, mountain not... lion tracks, fresh mountain lion tracks. Well, that would be amazing, but really any fresh tracks. Elephant tracks. <laughs> that would be unheard of. <laughs> At least in this uh, millennium. Hmm, bear tracks. That would be surprising. Dinosaur tracks. Okay, I got you. Dinosaur tracks. Now that would be pretty typical, I think. Yeah, well, hold on. Take a look over there. Right here. Dinosaur. Right. Dinosaur track. We got some more tracks here. Not sure what these are. It's like the... Uh, wind has blown some snow in so again if you uh, think you know what they are let us know in the comments below <laughs> you want to know how much snow is underneath us right now we are up we're like six feet taller than <laughs> the garbage cans. That's crazy, Dave. Woo! Right? Wow. There's a lot of snow here. A lot of snow. So, babe, we've been at this for about an hour now. And it's beautiful. All the grounds here are lovely, but there's not many tracks. Yeah, I think, uh, I think the animals are all kind of sheltering from the cold and the wind. Yeah, I think that must be it. I believe so. They're afraid of like. Negative five degrees. Yeah. <laughs> Well, not animal tracks, but we do have a uh, bat motel. Oh. With the uh, little uh, Batman symbol up there. Oh. Well, right now they're probably all off in Mexico. Yeah, that might be. Somewhere and making, they're making their way back this direction. Yeah. <laughs> well, that strange. was fun snowshoeing, babe. What'd you find over there? Yeah. Some strange uh, creature over there, I think. Strange creature. Made of snow. Look at that. Magic snow. Magic snow. Oh, wait, but look, behind you, watch out. There's one behind you. Oh, 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 we got one eye and no hands, but extremely adorable. Creatures and dreamers, they both believe in the patterns and powers. Well, this campground is definitely a true hidden gem, kind of just outside of Las Vegas. And think about it, if you're RVers like us, and you want to beat the heat of Las Vegas, well, there's multiple campgrounds that you can actually camp in up to 14 days. Reservation systems open up, you can make a reservation. Honestly, that's the way to end the day. I'm gonna to have to say, you always wonder, okay, it's a lot of snow in that, going downhill in an RV. I'm sure we can do it, but it probably would have made me a little nervous. What a way to end the day. Plot man to the rescue. Plot man, if you're watching this, thank you. Thank you. What a way to end the day. We're about to check out, and now the roads will be clear for us. Thank you, Plot man. Thank you.
can you believe, Dave, that we we did it? We camped in desert snow with the kitties, you and I, in the coldest, coldest temperature we've ever been in. I mean, negative 23 degrees Celsius, aka negative 9 degrees Fahrenheit. That's crazy. It was crazy. It was a lot of fun, too. It was a lot of yeah. fun. A lot of little icicles here and there. But the sun is shining right now. And guess what? What's that? I love you. I love you so much, baby. Tanya is right. We really challenged ourselves here and the rig in these extreme conditions. But we had a lot of fun doing it. And this place, this place is a true hidden gem. Yes, it's a true hidden gem. You know what? Off to the next adventure. Adventure.